And here are the top stories that you need to know as you start your day. Your Wednesday morning rush starts right now. The deadline coming up next week for families to verify their information to receive summer PEBT cards. The $120 benefit is open to students who were approved for free or reduced lunch at the end of last school year and those who applied for reduced meals over the summer. Those eligible must verify their address online before August 10th at 5 o'clock in the evening. Parents can check with their school's their child's school if they're unsure about that eligibility. The cards are expected to be mailed out in September and are used the same as SNAP benefits. And schools across Lexington County just got a big update in safety for this upcoming school year. Because for the first time ever, each public school in the county will have a permanently assigned school resource officer. Now there are 76 public schools in Lexington County. Lexington de deputies will serve as school resource officers in 35 schools with two on duty each day at Chapin, Irmo, Lexington, and White Knoll High Schools. The increase in resource officers was attributed to pay increases in the latest budget cycles. And as students head back to the classroom, access to high-speed internet is more important now than ever. According to the South Carolina Broadband Office, about 57,000 public school students don't have broadband internet. The office reports that there are more than 191,000 households with speeds below 25 megabits per second. Places in the Midlands that are underserved include Fairfield County, parts of Kershaw County, and Lee County. A recent report ranks South Carolina 26th in the nation when it comes to broadband access. And there's your morning rush for details on these stories and much more. Head over to our website at WLTX.com and you can also find the latest on the News 19 app.